Hi everyone, today I would like to show you more improvements on the networking side, specifically we'll take a look at area of interest management. This update is a critical one that is essential for the server. I will show you how it was before and how it is now and why it matters. What you see here are old videos of the project and you can see that everything is visible and indeed the server was sending information about everything which of course is unnecessary, unsustainable and also unwanted. But in overall, since it was in early stages, I focused more on broadly getting core features done. However, with the game getting ready for playtesting, I wanted to make sure that networking code was done to the point where I could have a few dozen players without issues and test networking features, including area of interest management. There are many ways to do this, and there are even benchmarks online comparing different strategies. Because of time constraints, I wanted something that was simple to implement, but also not demanding on a server. So I went with a simple solution, which I will go in detail in a future video, but essentially it is a combination of tile-based with distance check. I also added a simple visual guide that allows me to easily see the edges of my area of interest and test it out. So let's take a look at it in action. First, let's take a look at it with normal range, and you can see there are many entities visible to me like NPCs and objects. Now, to better demonstrate this in action, I am going to reduce the radius of my area of interest, so as I walk around, you will more easily see entities entering and leaving my area of interest. So let's open the console and set the enter radius to 5 and the exit radius to 10. When an entity comes within 5 units of my character, it will become visible and I start receiving its information and any updates. Similarly, if an entity goes beyond 10 units from my character, then I stop receiving its updates and the server sends a message to despawn the entity. I'm going to open the objects container here and this container has all the entities that are in the world, including players, objects and NPCs. In release builds, the entities are actually on the root, but uh, while working on the editor, it's just easier to see in a single place, in a single container, all the entities there. And with this open, it will be clear to see which entities the client currently has and is receiving information about. Now, if we start walking forward, you can see entities appearing in the objects container and at the same time becoming visible in the game window. Similarly, they disappear and fade out when they go beyond the exit range. This means that a much more limited amount of packets is sent to each client, with only relevant information. This also is used for creatures including already slain and lootable. As I get closer to the mouse near the meal, they appear. There are also lootable corpses here. Doing a quick test with players, it works in the same way. You can see players fade in and out of the game as they enter and leave my area of interest. There are some improvements to be done and one of them is regarding larger creatures or very important ones, like world bosses for example. Because of their relevance, it is worth exploring if, if they should appear even if they are a bit more far away from the normal area of interest, especially if it's a larger creature. As you can see, this is a major feature for the game and even though it took me relatively little time to add, it plays a critical part in the game. This allows for the data to be more broken into areas and instead of sending packets to every player, I send the packets only to the players in certain areas, which allows me to immediately filter out packets that you shouldn't be receiving and also reduce massively the bandwidth usage. 
So that's it for this video, but I have one question for you. What techniques do you think would be useful to further improve the game from a networking and resources point of view? Leave me a comment with ideas and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you are new to the channel, I am publishing devlogs and sharing my experience with creating an MMORPG in Unity. You can see my previous devlogs since May 2019 and there is even a lot of material that I haven't posted yet from the very beginnings and I plan to publish some of it later on. So if you want to get notified when new videos are out, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Because I am a small content creator, smashing the like button will help me out a lot.